Hello, I'm Mark Lingwood in the Department of Chemistry at St. Mary's. When COVID first hit, our department did what we call dry labs, where the instructor takes a video, sends the students some data, and the students just take the numbers and calculate the answer from it. Obviously, this is not ideal. This is not what students need to do to learn science. This is not what we want to do at St. Mary's. And so for the fall semester, we decided that we are gonna send every student in general chemistry, organic chemistry, biochemistry, we we're gonna send all these students their own laboratory kit. And in this kit, they would have materials to do lab experiments for the entire semester. So for the packing and shipping, Felicia in our stockroom did an amazing job putting that all together. So among the things we did that we were able to send home to students, we did our acid-based titrations, which are a mainstay of a general chemistry course by using a syringe instead of a more expensive fragile blast piece of equipment called a burette. And we also wanted to integrate one other component that's really important in our in-person labs, which is the use of scientific equipment. Well, we can't send home a $2,000 ultraviolet visible spectrometer to every student, but we can send home something that's a small DIY version of that, that gives students, if anything, a better education because they know how this piece of equipment is put together. So we sent home Lego colorimeters to 240 students across several different courses. This involved buying a lot of Legos and figured out a way to build this into a scientific instrument. You take an LED, which is your light source, and put that into a hole designed for a Technic peg in a Lego piece. And the five millimeter LEDs fit perfectly in there. And then take a one by two brick that has two holes in it and feed the two leads of the photoresistor, which is our light detector through the brick. And then make a space for your sample to sit in the middle. The goal of this measurement is to measure how much light is absorbed by your solution, which allows us to determine concentration of a compound. One problem we ran into is that the cuvette, the place where the liquid goes, is not designed to go into Legos, and so it's not the same size as a two by two Lego brick. And so I wound up 3D printing little inserts, and these little inserts allowed us to bridge that gap and also to make it so that students didn't smash their cuvettes into the photo resistor. And then you build Legos up to make a tower that's taller than your cuvette, put a piece of paper over the top to block extra light, connect everything to your multimeter, and measure the resistance, which tells you about how much light was absorbed by the solution. In the end, the LEGO colorimeter worked really well. We tested its performance compared to our $2,000 commercial instrument, and it performed just as well. It's really quite impressive. The big benefit here is that students have the opportunity to see how this instrument works and not treat it like a black box where it's this mystery that does science magic. Instead, they see the physical components. And students appreciated the chance to do real science. I'm sure students appreciated that we were actually sending them laboratory experiments. A number of schools in our area did nothing but dry labs this year. So giving students a real laboratory experience to me, that's what we do at St. Mary's. We want to give our students our best shot at an education regardless of the circumstances.